I'm Ron and I'm back again already with another preview video this time for tomorrow's Toronto FC home opener Toronto FC versus New England Revolution first we will talk about the New England Revolution then we'll talk about Toronto and then we'll talk about the starting 11 first we'll talk about the New England Revolution they've only got one point out of two games they drew their first game against FC Dallas and they lost their second game to Columbus Crew. They drew 1-1 against FC Dallas and lost 2-0 to Columbus Crew. They're not really that good of a team this year. I mean, if you look at it, their best player is Carl's Gill, their new DP. He's more about he's more like a CDM. Their forwards aren't really that good this year. Like Agu Aguadello, Bunbury, their their forwards aren't that good. Their midfield, besides Carl's Gill, is okay, but it's nothing special. And their back line, besides besides Jaleel Anibaba, Pania. Point being is, if we're really talking about the Revolution, they're lackluster. They're lackluster. Now, if they play TFC, like the TFC we saw against Independiente, they may pull off a draw or a win at BMO. But the TFC right now, considering their form, I think is better. Now, the thing about New York, uh, New England, not New York, <laughs> that's later on. New England to me is just that there's nothing special about them. Robert Kraft and Jonathan Kraft don't spend much on them. Because honestly, most of their money that they could spend for sports goes to the New England Patriots. And the New England Patriots barely sign any free agents. Look at what they're doing right now. Now, I know I don't need to bring the Patriots into this, but again, favorite NFL team. I know what's going on with them, and I can explain I sort of can bring some explanation on why Robert Kraft doesn't spend money for the Revolution. He barely spends money for the Patriots. If you've noticed, the man hasn't done anything for free agency. He let he let um, Trent Brown walk. He's letting he let <laughs> I could have sworn he's. They're thinking of letting Josh Gordon walk once he gets reinstated which is actually very possible they did bring back Brandon Bolden but that's probably a backup for Sony Michelle point being is is the Patriots don't spend money like you think they do Tom Brady restructured his contract but if I'm explaining this I know I'm a little bit off topic but since the Patriots are kind of connected to the revolution point being is is the Patriots don't spend money like you think they don't it's next man up the problem with the revolution is that they suck they don't have the goat of soccer or football on their team to pull them through and i think that's the difference between soccer and nfl you could have one great player pull you through basketball the same way S football that's a team sport. You have to have 11 good players on the pitch. You have to have 11 good players on the pitch. And that's why Robert Kraft is a bad owner in the eyes of MLS fans. He doesn't spend money because he thinks when you have that one good player, such as a Carl's Gill, on their roster, they should be able to win. But that's the problem. They don't. It's not like that in football. It's not like that in soccer. You have to have multiple good players. Like back in the day. They had Taylor Twelman. Who else did they have? Not many people. Now, they did make the MLS Cup three times. That's when the league sucked. But point being for the New England Revolution, if you look at it, is they don't spend money just like the Patriots don't spend money. The difference is, is Robert Kraft uses the same methods for both sports when only when the method only works for the Patriots and NFL, it does not work for soccer. He does not understand football. He does not understand MLS. 
he does not understand this sport. And Jonathan Kraft doesn't either, because if he did, he'd probably be like, okay, do this, not this. But I don't think Jonathan Kraft understands either. And they've, point being is, is they just don't spend money. Because they think the same situation will work for both sports, but it doesn't. You can't find, like, unless they bought Ronaldo, which will never happen. I don't know why he'd want to go to Foxborough. Unless he wanted to be soccer's Tom Brady, but I think he's already that. That's, honestly, I do want, that's kind of like Tom Brady going to the Toronto Argonauts, even though I want that to happen. Just, just, it's just stupid. Except Foxborough's way less of a city than Toronto. And I could make a joke about Robert Kraft's problems, but I'm not going to do it. Point being is, is the revolution are trash. And I know I shouldn't have brought in the Patriots like I did, but I'm explaining it's not that out of the ordinary for Kraft not to spend. Because he doesn't even spend for the Patriots. He just has Tom Brady. By the way, if you're Revolution fans and Patriots fans watching this from our MLS, oh, it's going to be bad soon. It's going to get bad. It's going to get very bad. Basically, honestly, I'm, I'd be scared. Now, Toronto FC, on the other hand, we're still, we have good form. We have good form. Actually, if you get to this point in the video, I digress about explaining the revolution, connecting it to the Patriot situation, but I had to do it. Since I'm a Patriots fan, I had to do it. Because I'm not sure many MLS fans follow NFL free agency. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know. New England Revolution fans probably do. Rest of y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But back to my point. Toronto FC, they're, they're doing pretty good. I know they only have one game, and they won that one game. But I think their form is a very, they're, they're very good. They have very good form. And that's a good thing. As you can see, this team is doing very well. They did very well against the Philadelphia Union. But, as we see, this team could have some upgrades. But I think they're pretty good for what they are. And I think what they are could beat the New England Revolution at home. Honestly. Now, we won't have Joe. I don't think Josie will be starting, but he'll be in the 18, and I think he will be subbed on. We don't have Pozzuolo yet, but he will be in the next game after he comes over tomorrow. Maybe, they'll, uh, maybe they will unveil him to the crowd tomorrow, but he's not going to play unless he wants to be like Seba Javinko, but he has the flu, so not going to happen. But... He will play the game against New York City FC next. But this team has upgrades coming. It's not just like it needs upgrades and nothing has happened. They're getting upgrades right now. Now, also with this team, I do want to see a player like Omar Brown. Since people said Caldwell said Brown, but everybody else was saying Brownie. And I guess Caldwell's the GOAT, so we kind of have to go with Brown. But Omar Brown, I think he should be in Toronto on a free, well, not a free, but a minimum deal, because honestly, he could get way more than he even makes in Panama on a minimum deal. Dude's quality. Dude is quality. And we could use one of the TAM players as a defensive player, and then another offensive TAM player. Think of it like that. We need help with a defense, so why don't you get a minimum player to put as one of your TAM wingers, and then put a other TAM winger, and then put a TAM defender. It works perfectly. It works perfectly. Or, hear me out here, you get Romish Ivy and Brown, put them as your wingers, and then get two defenders or a midfielder and a defender on Tam. Think about that. You see, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a very good idea. I think it's a very good idea. But Toronto FC is way better than what people think right now way better than what people think right now we just we're waiting for the reinforcements but we could still beat new england i think it's very easy 
I think they're way worse than the Philadelphia Union, and we pretty we we did pretty good against the Union. So I think in BMO we should be able to beat the Revolution. Even last year when our team wasn't good, we beat the Revolution at home. I think that this game we're going to beat the Revolution easily, probably 3-1, maybe 4-2, but we're going to get our three points and go through the two games that we needed to scrape with six points. Just saying. We needed to scrape results from these, but it was favorable that we got these games, but if we get six points from the two games we needed to scrape results from, and then Pozzuolo comes in and Josie starts starting, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Who didn't think we'd be good, but we are. Just think of it. It was a little bit of a punch, but we've got back up. It's not how hard you could hit. It's about it's about how hard you could get hit, but get get up and take and then start hitting. A butchered quote from Rocky Balboa, but a butchered quote from Rocky Balboa, but cut me open. Or cut me open. We're going to bleed red. Now, starting 11, I say a 4-4-2. Left back, Moro, center backs, Mavinga and Saman. Right back, Aural, obviously Bono and goal. Um, midfield, I would say Delgado, De Leon, no, De Leon, Delgado, Bradley, Osorio, Front two, Terrence Boyd and Io Akinola. I rate Akinola just a little bit more than Jordan Hamilton. I mean, honestly, I rate Akinola way more. Um, I rate Akinola way more than Hamilton. So that's my predicted starting 11. Josie Altador, I think, will be on the bench and he'll be subbed in for Akinola around the 65th, 70th minute. Maybe earlier if things aren't going to plan, but I think about the 65th, 70th, 65th, 70th minute will be where Josie gets subbed in. I don't think they're going to take off Boyd. I think they're going to take off Akinola, if everything, what I would say is. But, yeah. I think that sounds like a good 11. So, yes, I think Toronto will beat the Revolution. I think it'll be 3-1 or 4-2. Something like that. The Revolution aren't really that good of a team. We should be able to get them out of our stadium pretty easily, win, and win the home opener, have a good St. Patrick's Day, drink some green beverage, whatever you choose. Drink some green beverage or whatever you choose and wear a green, well, no, wear red, but have a green scarf or something. Uh, no, wait, they're giving that one out. <laughs> they're giving that one out. So, uh, yeah. This is the only time it's permissible to wear a different color than green on St. Patrick's Day. So if anybody comes around me while I'm watching the TFC uh, New England game, don't pinch me. I'm wearing red. <laughs> don't pinch me. I'm wearing red. Thank you for watching. If you disagreed with anything or agreed with anything, put some in the comments. If you liked it, like it, share it, subscribe. If you want to say anything, comment. Or comment on Reddit, Amino, Snapchat, whatever you got me on, wherever you find this. If you want to comment there, I'll answer. I'll answer. Also, I will live stream my reactions to the game as I am watching tomorrow on YouTube Live. On tomorrow on YouTube Live. Kind of like Goldbridge. I don't like comparing myself to that, but uh, it was a uh, it was a, uh, a a suggestion from a viewer saying, you know who you are, a suggestion from a viewer channel Vorkan saying I should do United Stand style review preview reactions review. So I'm gonna do that. See how it goes. Um, it'll be a trial run, but we'll see what happens. So I'll do a watch along. I'll do my reactions as I'm watching. Same format as you can see. And then, yeah. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Watch the watch along tomorrow. Sorry for bringing the Patriots into this a little bit. But I kind of had to. Because I think 
I mean, of course, I sort of wanted to defend Robert Kraft, but not about his actions, but about his owning style. Because I'm a Patriots fan, so I sort of have to defend him, but I'm a Toronto fan, so I shouldn't, but I did because... Point being is, is I'm sorry for bringing the Patriots into this, but I kind of had to. And if you got past that, I said it sorry once, I'll say sorry again. It's not off topic. I just had to bring the Patriots into this. I think I kind of tied, and tied up the loose ends on that. But thank you for watching. If you disagree, comment. If you have anything you want, subscribe. Have anything you want to say, comment. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.